settled near the city of Shechem. Dinah, the daughter of Jacob and Leah, set out to the city to visit with other young women. But when Shechem, the son of the local ruler, saw her, he seized her and forced himself on her. After this, Shechem's soul was drawn to Dinah, and he fell in love with her. He attempted to win her affection, but to no avail. So he went to his father, seeking his help. Get this girl for me. I want her to be my wife. When Jacob heard that Shechem had defiled his daughter, his sons were out tending the livestock, so he restrained himself until they returned. When Shechem's father, Hamor, came to speak with Jacob on behalf of his son, Jacob's sons had already returned from the field. By then, they had heard what happened and were outraged by what Hamor's son had done. For such a thing should never happen in Israel. My son's heart longs for your daughter. Please give her to him as his wife. Give your daughters to us and take our daughters as your wife. You can live with us, and the land will be available to you. You can do business, trade with us, and acquire property. Please, let me find favor in your eyes. Ask me for as large of a dowry as you would like. I'll pay whatever you tell me. Just let me marry your daughter. The sons of Jacob devised a plan and answered Shechem and his father deceitfully because he had defiled their sister Dinah. They said to them, We cannot do as you ask because it would be a disgrace to give our sister to someone who has not been circumcised. On this condition, we will consent to your request. Become like us by having every male among you circumcised. Do this one thing, and we will give our daughters to you and take your daughters to be our wives. We will live with you and become one people. However, if you do not agree with us and circumcise every male, we will take our sister and be gone. Hamor and his son were pleased with the offer made by Jacob's sons. Shechem was the more respected member of his father's family, and he was so taken by Dinah that he did not delay in doing what was asked of him. So Hamor and Shechem came to the entrance of their city and spoke to the men. These men who dwell outside the city are at peace with us. Let them live in the land and do business here, for this land is large enough for them. We will take their daughters for our wives, and we will give them our daughters to be their wives. <laughs> On this condition, they will consent to become one people with us. Every male among us must be circumcised as they are circumcised. Will not their livestock, their property, and all their beasts be ours? So let us agree to do what they have asked. All the men of the city and all the men who went out of the gate and listened to what Hamor and his son had to say were circumcised. On the third day after the men were circumcised and still in pain, two of Jacob's sons, Simeon and Levi, took their swords and boldly descended on the city. They killed every male with their swords. <laughs> including Hamor and Shechem, and left, taking their sister Dinah with them. Then the sons of Jacob entered the city and looted it. They took the sheep, cattle, and donkeys, whether in the city or in the fields. 
They also took the wives and children captive and took everything that was in their homes. They did all of this because of what had happened to their sister, Dinah. After his sons had plundered the city, Jacob came to Simeon and Levi. You have caused me trouble by making me stink in the eyes of the local inhabitants, the Canaanites and the Perizzites. I don't have many people, and they will align themselves against me and attack me and my household, and we will be destroyed. Should we let our sister be treated like a whore? After he confronted his sons, God spoke to Jacob, saying, Arise, go to Bethel and live there. Make an altar to God who appeared to you when you fled from your brother Esau. So Jacob gathered his household and all who were with him and spoke to them. Get rid of the foreign gods that you have with you. Purify yourselves and put on fresh clothing. We will go to Bethel. There I will build an altar to God, who answered me when I was in distress and stayed with me wherever I went. All of Jacob's household and all who were with them gave Jacob the foreign gods they had in their possession. They also removed their earrings, and Jacob buried them along with the foreign gods under the oak tree that was by Shechem. And while they were traveling toward Bethel, a terror from God fell upon the cities around them so that none of them pursued the sons of Jacob. All the men who went out of the city gate agreed with Hamor and his son Shechem, and every male in the city was circumcised. Three days later, while all of them were still in pain, two of Jacob's sons, Simeon and Levi, Dinah's brothers, took their swords and attacked the unsuspecting city, killing every male. They put Hamor and his son Shechem to the sword and took Dinah from Shechem's house and left. Genesis chapter 34, verses 24 to 26.